Hello, good morning viewers. Um, still on how to solve radical equations. Today I have another nasty radical equation here, which we are going to solve together. And I think this should be the last on the sort. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. So now let us give it a try. Uh, you can see we have different roots, one under another. You can see square root of x is under this cube root, the whole of this is under fifth root, and the whole of this under the sixth root. So we are going to eliminate these roots one after the other, but the first one should be the outermost one. And the outermost root is sixth root. To eliminate it, we are going to take the power of six from both sides. Power of 6, power of 6. This power of 6 will cancel this 6 root, leaving only these terms inside. We have 62 plus 5th root of 30 plus cube root of 7 plus square root of x. And to the right, we have 2 to the power of 6, which is 64. All right, you can see we have a real number here, another real number. So we may decide to take 62 to the right. And here it is positive. Once it crosses over, it becomes negative. So we have only this root to the left, which is fifth root, 30 plus cube root of 7 plus square root of x. And to the right we have 64 minus 62. 64 minus 62 is equal to 2. So we have this fifth root of 30 plus cube root of 7 plus square root of x is equal to 2. Now the outermost root is fifth root. So we are going to take the power of 5 to both sides. This power of 5 will cancel this fifth root, leaving only this 30 plus cube root of 7 plus square root of x. And to the right we have 32 because 2 power 5 is 32. Real number, real number, bring them together. To the left, we have cube root of 7 plus square root of x. To the right, we have 32 minus 30. Once a term crosses over equality sign, the sign will change positive to negative. We have cube root of 7 plus square root of x equal to 2 because 32 minus 30 is 2. Our main target is to find the value of x. The outermost root is cube root, so we take the power of 3 from both sides. This will cancel this, leaving 7 plus square root of x. So let me come here. 7 plus square root of x. This is equal to 2 power 3 is 8. Real number, real number, bring them together. To the left we have square root of x. To the right we have 8 minus 7. Square root of x is equal to 1 because 8 minus 7 is 1. Finally, uh, this is square root. The opposite, the, or the inverse is 2. We have to square both sides. This will cancel this, leaving only x. And to the right we have 1 because 1 power 2 is 1. So the real value of x in this main equation is 1. If you like, you can substitute the value of x in the main equation, simplify everything to the left. Definitely you have to obtain 2 to the right. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues.